Good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a great day so far. Welcome to my channel. This is Live Life Lori. Um, so we are dressed all festive and we are going to be making Christmas holiday cookies, which includes candy canes and a cake box mix. So it's gonna be super easy. These are very easy cookies to make. So all you need is obviously a box of cake mix and we can't use eggs because it is, we're making them vegan. So we're going to substitute with flax eggs. So you need uh, ground up flax seeds and water and you need candy canes and a little bit of oil. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing we need to do is put our cake mix in a bowl. Well, besides turning the oven on, that was the first thing. So these are gonna be kind of like super easy, super cheating because it's the holidays and who doesn't need to save some time on doing stuff, right? So I've chosen to make chocolate peppermint cookies, but you can use whatever flavor you like. So here's our cake mix. And now we're gonna start on the flax egg. It doesn't take very long, but you use one tablespoon of flax seeds. Um, it has to be the ground version just so that it binds well. And then you use three tablespoons of water and you park it and mix it in a bowl for a bit. Um, but although we are gonna use two eggs, so we need two tablespoons of ground up flax seed, six tablespoons of water in a bowl and let it sit while we do the rest of the stuff. So you could substitute, instead of the flax eggs, you could put um, bananas, but the people that we're bringing these cookies to, one of them's allergic to bananas, so there's always another substitute. All right, the next step we need is a half a cup of oil. Today I'm gonna to be using canola oil. You can use whatever oil you want, but I probably wouldn't use olive oil because obviously you don't want that taste in your cookies. We're going to get our cookie pan with the parchment paper, get it ready to put our cookies on. Right, so see how quick that was? Dump that into our cake and oil mixture. And that's it. Basically the cake batter is done. So we're just going to mix this around. You can add chocolate chips if you want or um, any other Raisins, I mean, don't be that guy that adds raisins though. Just saying. But I'm gonna be adding the candy canes on top, so I'm not gonna add anything else inside because I feel like chocolate and candy canes is enough. So I just wanna tell you guys too that I actually made these a couple days ago and they were an epic fail, so you didn't see the video. This is the basically take two. <laughs> the first video I actually made, um, I used, I made everything the way you would make a cake. So I don't know what I was thinking, you know, these cake boxes mix calls for eggs, um, water, and oil. Well, I wasn't thinking and I added the, the water. So it was like a full on liquidy cake batter. So I had to scoop a little bit on the cookie, um, cookie pan. They flattened right out. So basically as you pick them up after, it's like a cake. So they were crumbling in your hands. So kind of learned my lesson because that's why you don't add the water. So this is take two. So we're gonna see, I'm sure it's gonna turn out better. Because even though I did have a fail, what I did was add more flour to the mixture and it worked out fine. But because I didn't, that wasn't part of the video, so that's why I had to do a new video properly. This is how you make them. So I'm just going to wash my hands and then we're going to get the balls on the pan. Um, eight or nine of these cute little mini candy canes, but obviously you can use the big ones. You can use whatever you want. So I'm just going to take them all out of the package right now. And I need a wooden spoon. Yesterday I cracked one. Not yesterday. Whenever I did my epic fail one, I didn't put a cutting board underneath the cloth here. So I was just doing it on my granite counters and I was smacking away with my wooden spoon and I heard a crack. My wooden spoon cracked. So now I'm smart. Now I have a wood, um, cutting board first. Then I put my cloth over it and then I have the candy canes. So let's try this again. Time to try the cookies. So it actually made quite a bit. It made um, 25 cookies, but I didn't make them super huge. So I still have some on the on the rack there drying. And here's the cookies. So I'm going to try one. 
These definitely already look better than my epic fail the other day. Mmm. They're so chocolatey, so good. This was the easiest cookie recipe ever. See, I barely used any dishes. So easy and so delicious. So I'm gonna show you up close. Sorry, I had to take another bite. They're so good. Anyways, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. And please consider to subscribe to my channel. It does help my channel and to make sure that I make more videos like this if this is what you like to see. And I wish everyone a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. I wish you the best time with your family and friends. And let's make 2019 the best year yet. And uh, one more thing, my closing comment is uh, in live your life with kindness for all living beings. Thanks again, everyone. Until next time. Bye.